What's up guys, do you have one of these? If you do, if you have one of these serving jigs and you want a way to make the serving jig go faster so that your elbow doesn't hurt as you're winding and winding and twisting this around, this is a DIY home remedy that I didn't technically figure out by myself, but I looked at some pictures online and made my own version. So, let's do this. This right here is the NW spinner. The idea is that you throw your serving jig in there and then it goes on your string and you're able to twist it really fast. But the thing is, with this one, you need the special serving jig that this company sells. But what if you just, you know, have a common $15 serving jig? Is there a way to make your own so that this common serving jig can go much faster? The nice thing about this jig though is that you can use a drill on it. By putting a wheel on a drill, you can spin this much faster than you can by hand. Now there's another serving jig that's out there on the market that's drill powered, that has gears, and it's it's $200 plus, two to 210, depending on where you get it from. And that's pretty pricey for the average person just serving. So is there a way that we can take a $15 serving jig, make our own, this is just plywood, can we make our own out of a piece of plywood, literally from the woods, that will speed up the time we serve. I think we can. Okay, we need to do some quick figure in here. It needs to be at least double this, three inches, so maybe six inches from the center. I'll go ahead and screw this in. Gonna grab a little piece of serving, tie a knot. Our first thing is we're gonna make a circle and cut it out. We want the jig to be at least six inches, uh, maybe a little bit bigger. We're gonna go for seven inches total, so three and a half. The idea with this is just to make sure that it's big enough to be able to fit your serving jig inside of it. How the serving jig needs to ride is that the middle of the circle needs to be right here. So your full circle will need to be bigger than that at least. I think that's pretty close. This is my uh, homemade compass, I guess. Okay, there we go. Should be able to get a If I don't move it too much, a decently good circle. There it is. Alrighty, that's what we need to cut out. This, we're gonna mount on the inside of it. We're gonna cut a slot on the other side of it. We're gonna be able to serve our bowstring much faster. There's the rough cutout. If you don't have a bandsaw, there's many ways to cut this out. You can actually use a table saw with a jig, or you can use a router, you could use a coping saw, you could use a jigsaw. There's plenty of different ways to cut out a circle. You can just search those on YouTube and a lot of different woodworkers will show you how to do so. Here it is, our starting point, sanded down a circle. Now we need to figure out how we're going to mount this in there. Now again, we've got the hole in the center, and so the bottom of this V needs to be right in that dead center of the hole, just like that. And I don't think this is going to be more difficult than just a simple outline. If I could hold that still. Connect our dots. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and cut that straight through. Shouldn't be a problem. So that's where that lays. Now we need a place for the string to slide through. So it's just gonna come directly up from there. Basically like that. So basically I need to cut out all of this to start. Okay. 
there's our rough cutout right there. And this will go in here. Now here's the thing, how do we keep this to stay in here? Well, I'm glad you asked. Just a little piece of plywood. I'm gonna figure out a way to hold this in here and I think I'm just gonna lay it on like that probably. Now we'll just cut out the excess. This backer plate's gonna keep it all holding tight together. Not only so, it's gonna be part of our way of holding this piece in right here, which I put in backwards to hold that in. This is the jig now where it stands. Serving jig, or serving tool slides right in it. Now we need to figure out a way to hold this tight. Since we have all of this cut out, that's why this backer's on here and it makes everything rigid so it's not flimsy. Now I can throw this in the center here. And what I think I need to do is I'll build up the sides here to make it even on either side. And then once it's all built up, I'll just cut out a little piece of wood that I can use as a little lever to hold this in place. I decided to go ahead and make a string up real quick and now I'm gonna start serving it just a little bit by hand just in order to get it started before we throw the jig on. And if you're not too familiar with serving, this is the uh, old method right here. You'll just start twisting it like this and you'll just continue twisting it and you'll basically do this for about three to five minutes if you can keep it without stopping, which it takes a little practice to get the technique down in order to get your full length, the serving. So I just did an inch or two right there. Now with the serving jig, boom, we can crank our levers down, which I like those I think better than the, the NW spinner one, just because that one, they have a bungee cord you're supposed to strap it in with. And I think it's faster just to do that right there. I have one of these little circular sanding paper things that go onto your drill. I take the sandpaper off and then I just have a rubber wheel and I can spin it with a drill. Or you can get like a skateboard wheel or any sort of wheel you can get, maybe even like a small lawnmower wheel, scooter, something like that. But then you can just spin. You can just spin the jig with the drill. jig or something. And there you have it. Yep, perfect length. So I'll just remove that, remove the little jig, and then close off the serving by hand. Just do a little back serve here. And that's how you can save a lot of time when serving. Now, if you're not doing many strings, eh, I wanna worry about it. This is really just for fun. And now, I have a really good string for the bow I built in the last video. And that's how to make a do-it-yourself little serving jig. But if you build one of these, I mean, I don't know how often you serve, but it makes it probably five times faster after one of these is built. And on top of that, it doesn't hurt your arm at all to sit there and and then like goes backwards and it gets stuck and then it hits your workbench and then you're like <laughs> Anyway, thanks so much for joining me today. Sling an arrow at the subscribe button if you haven't already. Stay positive, be shatterproof, and remember, I'm for you. We'll see you on the next video. You are the one who <laughs>